All right, peoples, it's time for RF Tools with Super Turtle. What's going on, peeps? We are going to get crack a lacking, maybe some smacking. Just kidding. We're going to be making up some materials today. These guys over here, we're going to be building ourselves a dimension. Now, if you guys don't know anything about RF Tools, here's the thing. It's crazy. So we can build our own like dimension. Think of the nether as being a separate dimension, but we can maybe like, you know, just put diamonds everywhere, diamond blocks. We could have anything you want. There's a possibility to get. So that's what we're going to be working on today. Uh, I do want to show you guys something I did off camera. Uh, so over here, if we look over here, you can see some trees. Yeah, I set up a temporary tree farm. Uh, it's working really well. I have a fertilizer over here that is working like a dream. It's making these grow really fast. And then we got one of these guys getting us the oak wood and stuff like that. There's a planter down below. I might show you guys that in a little bit. Actually, if you guys want to see that, let me know down in the comments. We'll show it next episode. But it's just a basic tree setup. But we're going to be making these today. So we need to make a um, dimlet workbench. I think we have... Let's see. Basic part of a dimlet. You need this by just deconstructing. Um, do we have any of that? Dimlet deconstructor? We have a bunch of dimlets, don't worry. So these are going to be our templates. Empty dimension tab. We can edit these, give ourselves some awesome stuffs. Oh, I'll explain that later on when we get there. Uh, dimlet parcel, I present for you. We have a bunch of these because of our killing our endermen. You, you get these uh, dimlet parcels by killing endermen, and you right click here. We're going to go really quick. Okay, so we've done all of them. We got the dimlet base part. We also got a few of these guys. So we're going to throw these in here. We're not going to use these just yet. But the cool thing is we did get a lot of these these guys. So we can make one of these now. Yes, sir. Dimlet workbench. All right. Now we're going to make a dimension editor. Very easy. We're going to make a dimension builder. This is going to be our go-to guy. We're going to make a dimension inscriber. Can we make one of these? Oh, shoot. I thought we could use... Oh, we can't use that. Okay, let me go kill some squid. Aha, I found you. Slice, slice, slice. Come on, die. Thank you. Now, where is your friend? He's here. He is dead. Where's your other friend? He's here. He is dead. All right, we have enough. Beautiful. All righty, now that we've got the ink sack, we can go ahead and make ourselves a dimension describer. I thought we were able to use the, um, the black dye for some reason. I was incorrect. Gonna be used making a matter transmitter. This will help us get to the dimension. Matter receiver. This will help us get out of the dimension, and then a dialing device will help us dial to the dimension. So we're gonna try to set these all up here. Um, you know, you know what? Let's get some conduit. I did. I missed. We're gonna grab. Uh, yes, we need that. And then we're gonna grab a flux point for power. And we are going to go ahead and build our stuff here. Okay, so we're going to put this bad boy here. We're going to go like this. We're going to put it on our turtle power network. I do have a separate network for the reactor stuff. Um, so here we go. We are going to put the dialing device here at the end. We're going to put the matter transmitter here. And we're going to put the matter receiver here like so. We're gonna put the dimension editor here. This there's no rhyme or reason to do this. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so these are machines here. I think you can name this, right? Yes. Turtle Island. Access public. At oh, no, no. Ha! Username. I think that worked. Um. Let's see, what is this? This is the matter transmitter, this is receiver. Name, okay, so I guess, I guess it's there. I might need to infuse it. Yes. Maybe a dialing device would help this? Oh, yes, this is what we're talking about. So if we step here, yep, we get transported here. Cool, so we've got this already set up. Amazing, very simple to make. So what you do is you set this, you name this to whatever you want. And then you name this to whatever you want. If we do, actually, we don't need to really name that. That's where we come from. And then you dial from, actually, you do need to name this. So if we did this Turtle Island Go. And we did Turtle Island
welcome, we could see here that Turtle Island Go is dialing to Turtle Island Welcome, and that's why when we step here, we get teleported over here. So if we want to do this, we could set one of these up at spawn, two of these guys and a dialing device, and we can get to and back from our, our base there without any, any worries. We could also set one up in other people's bases. So when other people start to set up these dialing devices, we'll be able to um, go to their bases and stuff like that. So very cool. We'll need one of these to get to our dimension that we're going to go ahead and build. Now, Dimension Editor, um, I believe you put... Is it... The blank one? No, it's not a blank one. Um, aha. Whoa. Whoa, we got a lot of stuff. So you can do different fluids here, like you see. What about if we type here, end diamond or another diamond or block of diamond. How do we do that? So as you can see, we can make block of diamond and we can mine those. Like it's, This is legit. Uh, we can also do a block of emerald. Though I think we we need to check some of these dimlets out. Let's have a look. Okay, so these are what we have so far. Um, don't think these are what they used to be. Rarity four. Okay, so let's take pin. Should be able to see the dimlet here. No, we cannot. Huh, I'm not sure how we make the dimlet like that. Let's go ahead and there's the distracting other dimlets and the workbench and the same workbench you can also. Okay, so let's go ahead and we're gonna try this out. This is the dimension editor. Dimension builder. So I believe. Oh, this is where we put it. Okay. We put one of these here. We, we add in all the stuff we need. Okay, so we got some Rarity 5 dudes, but they require a crap ton of power. So let's see. Is there any uses for these? Okay, every dimlet needs one control circuit. You can get this by deconstructing other dimlets in the dimlet workbench. In that same workbench, you can also use this item to make new dimlets. Note that you will need, to con need a control circuit the right rarity in order to make the dimlet of that rarity okay so let's go ahead we're gonna grab some diamonds where did my diamonds go we're gonna see about making a few diamond blocks okay so maybe maybe there's a tool in this guy that we need to be using um dimension editor dimlet workbench maybe so so there's one down there but I, get, I think we need to build this up. I, so I, I, don't, I don't really know. It's, it's a little different than I remember. So we have our own dimension here. We're going to build the dimension. It's going to take a heck ton of power. But we have a lot of power in reserve. So it's okay. 99%, 100%. You'll leave it here, right? And so we should be able to see it, correct? Dialing device. Yep. So dial here. Okay. All right, so we're in our dimension. This is the dimension we've just built. Very basic. We do have this cool tower, though, that we spawned right next to. Very cool. So let's see. Is there any effects? Uh, no. There's some. Usually there's some effects that come with these, but it looks like, like these are the perfect places to set up, like a quarry and stuff like that. Um because you won't affect anyone else. No one else is in this world. We're also generating a lot of worlds, so this isn't good for the server, so we need to be careful. Wait, is that a beehive? Oh, I forgot about the bees in this. Oh, okay, I definitely want to get into bees. Um, but yeah, so this looks kind of like a marsh almost. Vampire forest, swampland, yeah. So as you can see, this is a very basic dimlet, but what this will allow us to do is we should be able to get back home... Uh, we didn't bring one of those, so let's go ahead and just hit slash home. Normally, if I didn't bring one of those dialing devices back and the uh, mana transmitter, you could be stuck, but we have slash home, so we should be okay. All right, so let's see about taking this dimension apart. We don't want to put too much energy into this guy. So as you can see, it holds power. So it says current power cost, maintenance cost is 10 RF per tick, so it's nothing. This thing is very cheap. So if we go like this, we should be, huh. 
not really sure as to how this works. So I need to do some research on how to make the diamond guy. Unless it tells you. Oh, it does. So power guy here. We're going to need that. Okay, 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 cool. Cool, 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 cool. Actually, let's screenshot that so I can take a look at it and we can build it over there. So give me one sec. Okay, so it says we need one of these, a material absorber. We should be able to make this one very easily. So we got that. We're going to need something else. Let's check out our dimlet. Okay. So it looks like we need one of these, material type controller. Every dimlet needs a type specific controller. You can get this by deconstructing our dimlets. Okay, and that same workbench. So I guess when we add all of these together, we should be able to make it. So we got this, we got this, we got this. We need one of these guys. We got the middle guy and we got the other one. Okay, so let's head on, head on back over here and check this out. Uh, where were you? Okay, you were here. So we need this guy here, this guy here, this guy here, and this guy. And then maybe if we select block of diamond. Hmm. Rarity five. I mean, we've got everything over there like it says we need. Um. Let me do some research. I'll be right back. Okay, so check this out. So it says with this guy, I was just reading in on this. I think this is what we need here. Oh, shoot. We need to break this real quick. So it says uh, place the block on top of another block, and it will gradually absorb all identical blocks in the area. You can use the end result in the Dimlet workbench. So I don't know how many we're going to need. So maybe let's, let's try it. Now, does it have to be on top? Oh, shoot. We built, we broke way too many. Uh, like that. Oh. Six <laughs> percent. Oh, Nelly. This is going to take a heck ton of diamonds. Um, so we're going to see, we're going to throw all of our diamonds at this. And see how far we can get. I'm going to stay here. I'm going to do this for a bit, guys. I'll be back. So with all of our diamonds, we're at 52%. We are like 100% out of diamonds. So we're not going to be able to do that. Let's go ahead. We're going to try doing this with emeralds. And we're going to see if we can you know, make it. Uh, so we're going to need to make another one of those things. So at RF tools, like so, um, this guy here. Yep, okay, we can make another one, cool. So let's go ahead and we're gonna place this down next to, oh, not that guy. Right here, emerald on top of it. And then we're gonna place a bunch of these. So I'll be back after these are done, just wanna let you guys know. Okay guys, so we are at 100% for this block of emeralds. So we're gonna grab this guy here. There we go, we got him. So let's go ahead, Put him here. Oh, wait, look at that. Block of emerald. Maintain cost 20,000 RF per tick. That's more than we can produce. <laughs> uh, Warren, dangling modifiers in the descriptor. Modifiers for terrain. Okay, so we're going to need to get a terrain uh, dimlet here for that. So let's see here. Do we have a terrain one? Yep, terrain type controller here. Let's go ahead. We're going to need to build another one. So, let's see. Okay, let's look for some orb. I guess we're, we're going to look for. Orb. Orbs. This guy here. So, this is what we're going to screenshot and take a look at. Okay, so I'm going to find all the materials for this guy, and we'll be back. Okay, so this is odd. Uh, so, you need to have this feature absorber, uh, and I guess it's supposed to origin. It absorbs how that is. And it does some crazy things, but now we can make the, the weird terrain generator thing. 
let's go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna build it um, like so. So we need this guy here. We need this guy here. We need this. Oh, it's in order. Cool. That's because I did it in order. That sounds pretty cool like that. So if we do this, yep, we should get origin. So this tells. Oh, lag. It's fun. Okay, so we're gonna grab this guy out. We're gonna throw him in here. We're going to extract. We're going to put to this here. This here says it's okay. Bam. Okay, so we're gonna try this one. Oh jeez, look at that. Creation cost eighty one thousand R per tick. Let's see. Let's see how our how our guys doing over here. Okay, so we're actually not losing all of that much power, but if we decide to uncork this on that end, and then we're going to uncork it on the other end, are we going to... Is our system going to survive? Oh, come on. Uh, so that's power to it. Where did... I thought I had... It. Yes, so here. Disable limit, right. This is... Okay, so everything's disabled. Unfortunately, I think we're at the limit here of, is it this guy? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so it's coming out at 20,000 RF per tick. That's okay. We can, we're generating 10,000 RF per tick, so we should be okay. Does that affect it at all? What if we, what if we did this? Nope, still the same. What if, what if, what if, what if we did this up here? Okay, so we're generating some RF. This is hollowing along. Let's have a look here. So if we upgrade it like that. Hey, look at that. 20,000. We can so we can double the output of that guy. Cool beans. So, we're going to let this guy kind of build up for a second. We're at 56%. I'll come back when we're at 100% and we'll go into the dimension. Okay, so the dimension is built, but it's taken 20,000 RF per tick to generate it. So, we're going to be very careful. Um Yep, okay. So, we're going to go So this is different. Who? Okay, this is not what I was expecting. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, so this is the. Uh, there's an effect that comes with it. Um, do we see any emerald blocks though? No, so we're just generating all. We're just using up all this power for no reason whatsoever. So I don't, we need to find a way to get the orb thing, but we're not going to do that today. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything. This is a weird world generation. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. Dang. Okay. What is that? That's a frog. It's like the Twilight Forest in this one almost. Okay, so unfortunately this doesn't look right. But we do have one of these guys, which are good. Because these contain dimlets. That we're going to take. Now some of these contain shards. Oh, we have slowness three. I feel really slow. But we can fly around. We're okay. Oh, slime guys! Look at this. I know there's another one down there. We're gonna skip it. Okay, so I'm gonna explore a little bit more here. See if we can get anything good. Hey, just kidding. We found another one. All right, so dimensional shards, nope. But these do have some good stuff like this, so we'll take them. Hmm. 
Hmm. It's a very expensive world for not having very good things in it. So we're probably just going to scrap this guy. Maybe it's because we added this to a world that had already gen. Okay, we're going to see if we can fix that. Maybe, I don't know. It's going to take a lot of power just to redo that. I think we're going to set it up. Okay, so we're going to, we're going to steal this guy out of there. We're going to throw him in here. ID four. ID three. Okay, so look, it still has, it had memory for that one. This one did not. So I'm going to let this build up and we'll be back after this one is good. Okay, it looks like we're ready to go. Let's go ahead. Ah, oh, I think it's the same one. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah, we've been here before. Okay. Um, let's rename this to... No, no. Yep. And then go home. And see if that's the... If it updated the name. So unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to put some other modifiers in there with it. But we are able, we are, we are able to, yeah, no, no. So we are able to make our own dimensions now, guys. We are also able to make these dialing devices, which are really cool, because we're going to set up a few of these around spawn and stuff like that. I'd like to gift these to other people as well. Um, make like a few dialing devices, a matter transmitter, matter receiver. And that way we can, everyone can get to each other's bases very simply. So anyway, guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Because it's been Super Turtle, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. I love your faces. Bye-bye. <gasps>